Good morning. We are extremely pleased that you are here. It is good to come together for the purpose of co-creating. Do you agree? You are knowing what you are wanting? More or less. You are among the rare humans who have come to appreciate the contrast of your time and place? Oh yes, let's have some more. You are understanding that when desire is born within you, that it comes from the contrast that sometimes you would like to do away with? You are coming to recognize that the desire that is so life-giving, literally life-giving, could not be without the variety. And so, as you come to recognize that the variety is all about choosing, not different from the buffet where you appreciate variety, or the department store where you appreciate variety, you do not walk through the clothing department petitioning against those ugly clothes. Because you are satisfied and even comfortable in recognizing that someone might choose them while you might not. You do not feel that someone's going to knock you down and make you wear them any more than someone would fill your plate and make you eat it. Although that did happen to you. And maybe that's where your fear of contrast really began. With those bigger people, sure that they know what's right, forcing you to accept their view until you were big enough that you could at least run away. What we're wanting you to realize is that beyond that which your parents attempt, there is no assertion. In other words, Law of Attraction is the order of the day here and when you come to realize that as you offer a vibration that your vibration is answered and that through the powerful Law of Attraction all things that you are offering vibrationally come back to you then this business of assertion is no longer something for you to worry about because there really is not any of that. When you realize that the way you feel is your indicator of your vibrational offering. And your vibrational offering is answered by law of attraction so that everything that you are living, everything that comes to you, no matter how large or small it seems, whether it is something significant like your physical well-being or whether it is something insignificant like how your service at dinner goes, everything that happens in your physical experience is as a response to the vibration that you are offering, which is known mostly to you by your mood or attitude. In other words, the way you feel. If you say, I'm in a lousy mood, then we would say to you, you are in this moment not letting in the things that you really want. The contrast helps you to conclude your desire. And sometimes we see you, even though you have concluded a desire, not holding yourself in vibrational harmony with the very desire you've concluded. And we think the reason for that is very often you feel that you must, it sort of got started earlier in your life as you were dealing with your mother and those early big people, you feel that you must justify those things that you are saying that you want. You feel that you must justify the things you want by pointing out how inappropriate where you stand is. I am so needy here, you said to your mother. I do not have the thing I need. I really, really need it. Can you not facilitate it for me? And sometimes it seemed to you that it wasn't until you made a very strong case for your need that she came forth with the goods. And then you learn a distorted picture of the way Law of Attraction works because Law of Attraction does not respond to your justification from your place of need. That feeling of lack is an entirely opposite vibration from that pure wanting that the universe is answering. When you coin the words that say, ask and it is given, there are no more perfect words that you have ever spoken because when you ask, it is given. That's the basis of this universe. It is Law of Attraction. 
So when the contrast that serves you so well causes a desire or a preference or an asking to be born within you, in the moment of that conclusion, in that moment of that discernment or determination, you offer a vibration that is calling. The whole basis of this universe is attraction based. So as you begin calling for this thing that you want, universal forces come into play to answer every single time, no exceptions. You ask, it is given always. So what happens when you think you're asking for something that is not manifesting? Where is it going? If I'm asking and the universe is yielding, how come it's not turning up in my experience? And we say, if it is not turning up in your experience, it is because you are offering a vibration that is different from the desire you are asking for. In other words, you're asking, it's being given, but there is a third part in all of this. You're not letting it in. Well, why would I not let in something that I want so much? Because you are so aware that you don't have it. You're so aware of what is. You are so much a vibrational match to the absence of it that you cannot let it in. You cannot be a vibrational match to the absence of something and to the presence of something at the same time. You're either letting it in or you're not. Well, that's not altogether true. You could sort of be letting it in, so it's coming to you slowly. When you walk into a room, you don't look for the dark switch because there isn't one. There's not a source of darkness or a source of evil or a source of sickness. There is only a source of well-being which you are allowing or not. So in order to darken a room, you turn your little knob, which you call a resistor, and your resistor resists the light and provides you with the absence of it, which you have given the name darkness. So depending upon how allowing or resisting your knob is, you let more light or less light in. Well, that's sort of the way you are with your emotions or your vibrations. Your emotions are your indicator of your resistor. When you are wide open, you feel wide open. That's what passion feels like. That's what eagerness feels like. When you have a strong desire and you're summoning lots of non-physical energy through you and you are offering no resistance within your being, you are wide open. And as you are wide open, the non-physical energy is flowing through you powerfully and you are thriving. It is optimum physical experience. But when you have a strong desire about something and you're holding beliefs that contradict it, now you are in a place of strong resistance. That's what your negative emotion is. Your negative emotion lets you know you are closing the valve and resisting the very thing you're asking for. So strong negative emotion, quite an interesting sensation, isn't it? Is just like having your arm tied to a rocket and your foot nailed to the floor. Because you are summoning energy that you're not allowing to flow through. It is literally like being torn apart. That's why so many of you have concluded there are whole religious movements that are around the idea when I let myself want something, it beats me up. So I will spend my life releasing desire in every way I can so that I can let go of this rocket, rotten rocket so that the fact that my foot is nailed to the floor is no longer a hindrance. I'll just take hold of this little balloon that I got at the park, which really is not a problem. And the fact that my feet are both nailed to the floor will not cause me any distress. Well, we are not here to encourage you to stay nailed to the floor. We are here to put more fire in your rockets, or really to let your natural rockets take you off in the way that you intended. What this workshop is about is prying you loose from the floor. This workshop is about releasing the resistance that has not been allowing you to soar. You will never be able to stop your desire. We know that. We tell you that. We want you to believe that. Because the entire universe is established to produce desire within you. And an attempt at squelching desire can only be affected momentarily. In other words, as soon as you squelch one, another one pops right up. So you spend your life trying to talk yourselves out of things rather than going with the natural flow, which is rambunctious, eager, passionate, flowing toward endless topics of desire. 
you never get it done. You will never get it done. You will never be, no matter where you stand, in a physical body or in a non-physical perspective, you will never be in a place where there will not be a fresh new desire within you. So the contrast produces desire within you. And the desire summons life force. And as the life force is being summoned, you may be in a place of vibrationally allowing that which you are summoning, and you may not. And you can tell by the way you feel whether you are or whether you are not. We are calling this gathering the art of allowing because it speaks to the work that the deliberate creators that you are are really about. You cannot be more deliberate in your creating than in your deliberate, conscious realization of the way that you feel. Because the way you feel lets you know whether in this moment you are allowing the energy that you are summoning to flow through you toward your creative endeavor or not. It is exhilarating to come together with physical friends like you who are living the specifics, the nitty gritty of a physical human life experience because you literally stand most of you do not give yourselves the credit that you deserve on the leading edge of thought. You stand here on the leading edge of thought in the most specific contrast in all of the universe coming to specific discernment. And whether you ever come into vibrational harmony with your choices or not, you have still added unto your time-space reality in a remarkable and unique way. This gathering is not about that because you cannot help but observe your contrast and you cannot help but conclude ever new desires. This gathering is about helping you to once you have concluded your new desire deliberately, consciously come into vibrational alignment with it. This seminar is about lining you up with you it's about personal, internal alignment, which is the only alignment that is possible, and it's the only work that ever need be done. If you are not aware of energy, and you are not aware of your personal endeavor to align you and you, then you might be like so many other physical humans, who are, instead of being aware of how the energy feels as it flows through you, you are instead aware of manifestations which are the result of how the energy has flowed. It's a sort of after-the-fact awareness instead of in-the-moment awareness. So if you are looking after the fact at manifestations, yours and others, you don't have any meaningful information about how that was achieved. But you don't know that, so you start measuring piles of manifestations. You gather statistics and you say, these manifestations are pleasing, but these manifestations are not. And then you begin to say, we need some way of protecting ourselves from these unwanted manifestations. So you wage wars on each other, on drugs, on cancer, on evil. And you never seem to notice that every war you wage only makes a bigger pile to push against. Because in this attraction-based universe, everything that you are shouting no at is equivalent to shouting yes to. Because everything is about inclusion. There is only attraction or inclusion. There is no detraction or exclusion. So this gathering is about beginning to consciously recognize in this moment, in this powerful moment called now, in this now moment where all my power is, am I in this moment allowing that which I've been telling the universe in many ways every single day what I want or not? <laughs> 